guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday and today me and my sister and the two boys are going to Wolf and Mabby Wall Show. I'm really sorry about the light, but if I do that, I can't see nothing. You could probably see me, but I can't really see anything. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna go and pick her up as she hasn't got a car this weekend. Um, so let's go, I'm really excited. So we're ready to roll. Two boys are in the back. Casey Hi. is here. Um, it's still really sunny, so I'm gonna put. I know where I'm going, but I want to know the best way. Oh, I want to know the best way to go, so I'm gonna put it in my phone, get the sat nav up. Now my car's telling me to refuel. It's because I'm slanted. But anyway, we're gonna make our way. <laughs> So it is now the next day, it is now Monday the 20th, yes it's the 20th, um, and All From Abbey Wall Show was amazing, <laughs> um, I really really enjoyed it, um, me and my sister had a really nice time and everyone was so friendly um, and I was so surprised but I, really I shouldn't be surprised by that I suppose, um, all the store holders were so nice, even people walking around, um, it was just really really lovely and yeah it was just i had a really really nice time it was nice to actually feel all the yarn and or the wool <laughs> um and actually get to see it um obviously i've only ever bought two skeins of hand dyed yarn before and they are um these two so these are the ones that i bought from etsy um I've caked up one, I've had this one for quite a while and then I bought this one uh, a couple of weeks ago with my Christmas money um, but I thought I would quickly show you now what I actually bought if you're on my Instagram you would have seen it already um, but the first thing that I picked up was the first thing I picked up was this beautiful skein of yarn I know it's Christmas, it's got sparkle in it Oh my goodness, it is so nice. Um, <clears throat> this was £9, and this was from uh, Rosie's Moments. So this is the... I don't know if it's going to focus on it. Um, Rosie's Moments, it's the Hollyberry colourway, and yes, I know it's Christmas, uh, but I thought I could do Christmas socks with these, um, and this could be my December colourway. Um, I know that's like 11 months away, but never mind. Um, it is just fingering weight. It's superwash merino, 75% uh, superwash merino, 20% nylon, and 5% lorex. And it's 400 meters. Um, it is beautiful. So nice. Um, it did come with a lavender bag. I'm not a lover of lavender, but it's not actually that strong. So, yeah. Um, I got that, which I absolutely love, and then I um, <clears throat> walked past this stall twice, <laughs> I follow her on Instagram, and this is the Gamer Crafting um, yarn, it's called The Storm, um, 100 gram sock, 75% merino, 
and 25% nylon and oh my god this colourway is amazing again like look at those pinks and the blue and oh my god it is so pretty um really really pleased with this one it's got some purples in it as well um it is so so nice um so i don't know what i'm gonna do with this yet just look at it and look at his prettiness <laughs> um <clears throat> oh excuse me then the last thing i bought was oh, i thought it was here what did i do with it what did i do with it is it in here Ah, oh, it's here. It's fallen out of my little dish. The last thing I bought was a needle cosy. Now, <clears throat> I know I've got stoppers for my needles. Um, this was from Pickle Lily. Are you going to focus, please? So, Pickle Lily. Um, and this is their card just for their information um i don't believe they're on instagram i'm not sure it doesn't actually say on here if they've got an instagram um but they've got a website and they're on etsy <coughs> on etsy um <coughs> but to be honest it's not just yarny like yarny stuff like bags and things like that they was actually selling on their um stall um little they were like little books and as you open them um it had like a little track and then little pockets for the little cars you can buy oh my god they were adorable so um I, we didn't buy anything there and then but me and casey were like engrossed in them um they had dinosaurs they had fire engines and all the different types of things you can think of um so if you've got a little one and you're it's just amazing and they also had like little square things that they'd filled up with um like they were clear little beads i suppose but then filled them up with other colored shapes and whatever um and the the, the man said they're all triple stitched they've all CE tested um there's no way that the dye is going to come out the stitches are going to rip or anything like that like with a baby holding it and as you squeeze it there's like a clear panel on the front as you squeeze it you can see all the different things popping up and it was really 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 cool anyway i picked up this from their stall um it's just sort of a typical london scene with uh big ben and the buses and trees and um crown i thought it was really really cute um and i'm really pleased with it i'm gonna try it out i don't know whether it's gonna work for my knitting i don't know um but it was three pound i think um this game i didn't tell you was 15 um <clears throat> So yeah, like I, I don't know whether I did say, um, but I put aside a budget. Um, I didn't go nowhere near that budget, so I was very pleased with myself. I could have bought so much, but um, like my sister said, don't just buy things for the sake of it. Um, because on Rosie's Moments, there was like a, I did get that this this yarn out of the um, like end of line basket they had. They had so many nice ones in there. There was another two in there that I really, really liked. Um, but <clears throat> I thought I'm just buying for the sake. And I know that's the sort of thing that you go there for anyway. Um, but I had a budget. Um, I very kindly, thank you to all you guys, got a YouTube payment. Um, well, am getting a YouTube payment this month. Um, I've borrowed the money from Ian. And... Um, <clears throat> I'm going to give it back to him when it goes into the bank at the end of the month. YouTube payments, well mine anyway, go in between I think the 25th and the 28th of the month if I do get a payment. Um, so I will be giving that back to Ian. And I'm just really, really pleased with my purchases. Really, really happy. So um, I now can say that I've got four skeins of hand dyed yarn. And yeah. <laughs> um, I know a lot of people say they... Um, they can't warrant paying that for yarn i'm the same don't get me wrong but i thought i would treat myself um i'm not a yarn snob 
as you can tell I've got Panland yarn and acrylic and that is what I mainly use um, even my sock yarn I try to buy as cheap as possible um, I try and get it from Hobby or last year I got a lot from Malta in a pack in a great big pack I think it was like 15 euro or something which was really really cheap um, and so 15 euro I've just spent on one skein of yarn basically um, but yeah I thought I would treat myself and just see if I can get on with the hand dyed yarn and things like that so it's really really pretty I know it's a lot of money to some people it's a lot of money to me don't get me wrong um I'm self-employed so it's it is a lot of money to me uh and I'm just thankful that I can go and treat myself and do this what I enjoy doing YouTube doing vlogs videos whatever um and I'm able to just treat myself so yeah um <clears throat> I know I don't have to um uh what's the word I don't have to uh, not prove myself I can't think of the word now I don't have to I can't think of the word <laughs> anyway um but I just thought I would come on and show you what I bought so thank you so much um for all of your support that watch me on my channel um, i am going to do a proper video today because um i've got a few things to show so this will probably go up first and then i will do the um, other video now um and also i want to say thank you to everyone that has placed an order on my etsy over the weekend that's also a little uh, bit of my budget as well um but i didn't i didn't spend my budget so at the end of the day that is <clears throat> something else that I can maybe treat myself when that money comes in. I don't know. There is, me and my sister were looking at the spinning store while we was there. And, oh my God, I think we're just a little bit obsessed. <laughs> um, so, you never know. There might be a Turkish spindle in my life some sometime soon. Um, <clears throat> because it just looks so much fun. Um... I do really, really enjoy knitting and crochet. I really, really enjoy buying acrylic yarn and just sort of making blankets and things like that. So don't worry, I'm not going to change as in I'm going to become all posh and snobbery. I'm really not. Not saying that everyone that buys skeins or only uses wool is um, snobbery or anything. I'm really digging myself a hole here, aren't I? <laughs> uh, but I just... <clears throat> I am just me and half the time I use acrylic and I don't care <laughs> so anyway <laughs> I'm gonna go stop digging myself that hole and I shall see you all very soon thank you for watching bye